All right, viewers, we have a review and takedown video of the SIG 1911 RCS. Brand new to me, ordered from SIG, born on January 25th, 2013. have a couple new parts in this thing I fitted already. Still haven't shot it, but uh, put in a Fusion forward slide stop and a Fusion bar stock uh, disconnector being that the stock SIG parts are uh, metal injection molded. Just a little peace of mind to have some forged parts in there. Uh, nothing wrong with these stock parts at all. Very nice fit parts actually. I don't know if you can see that. See that shine on the edge over here? You'll see that little shiny spot. That's them hand fitting it to the frame. I mean, very well fit pieces, just not of the right metallurgy. They have a ball end uh, disconnector from the factory. You can see that. See how it's got that little round spot. It's to fit it a little bit tighter in the frame hole so it doesn't knock back and forth like that. The knock back and forth doesn't make a big difference to me, so I just put a normal Fusion bar stock one in. But you can see from SIG, another little hand fit spot there. They uh, definitely take their time putting these, these pistols together. <coughs> but let's get down to the uh, RCS here. Okay, we are unloading. Right here you can see the, uh, this is a Fusion SIG style forged slide stop. It says blackened on their, uh, on their site. You can see here it's a little bit of a matte finish to it, but for the most part it's shiny stainless. I was expecting a blackened or blued part, but uh, I don't mind, you know, we got uh, matte stainless hammer, trigger, bushing. And, uh, what do you call it? Plunger. Um, so, it kind of goes with the look. I would have preferred it black, but you get what you get. So, I wanted to do a takedown video of the RCS. There's really no uh, videos on YouTube about taking down one of these. When I was purchasing it, I was wondering if they had the flat round spring or not. It has just your normal wire spring. Haven't figured if I'm going to do a flat round spring in this or not yet, but for the time being, I can do wolf springs, which is an option. Yeah, your normal commander guide rod. Spring fits on there nice and tight. Normal wire springs, so you can do wolves without uh, having to do get special springs with those flat wire springs. The guide rod is smaller diameter, quarter inch, but either way, let's get to this here. We got, uh, if you can hear, hear that clicking. That's a hand fit, hard fit barrel. They say hard fit, hand fit, either way. You can hear that click. Nice wide throat in the barrel. Very fine edge on the throat. So it sits down on the frame very nice. Links tight. For all those commander people that know the difference or not I have my light on me, you can see, I don't know if you can, the bow tie cut in the frame. It's a relief cut on the bottom of the frame there. So that 
these barrel feet do not contact the frame only in this area up here it makes frame contact up here and not on the edges here to snap these off not a very big deal but one one little extra step that they took that I don't mind you can see here where the slide stop comes through it is cut there a lot of the old original officer frames had problems cracking right here so Colt's original solution was it just cut straight through there some people argue that it was just a cheaper route of cutting whatever it may be SIG did the same thing we have a uh, 80 series firing pin safety right there first 1911 I've had with a 80 series not crazy about it but uh, this is going to be a carry pistol you don't want to alter any kind of safety mechanisms on a carry pistol you never want to give a lawyer any reason to induce doubt into a jury of why you're guilty and his client is innocent or why his client is dead and you shot him with a unsafe pistol pretty neat idea that Fusion came up with. I mean, I'm assuming that's why this comes with it. I ordered their slide stop. I never thought of doing this in the past. Normally I just cut the little notch onto my slide stops. But, uh, you use a guitar pick. It makes installing your slide stop very easy. And, you know, tight fit slide stops I've had in the past. You know, I use like a little thin piece of plastic, same type of deal, I just never thought of using a guitar pick, so works out pretty nice. The RCS comes fully dehorned, as you can see these edges are knocked down here. Everything's kind of smoothed out a little bit, not a full melt job as people would per se, but uh, definitely dehorned, you can see. Put some effort into knocking down sharp edges everywhere. Got a uh, undercut front strap here, 25 line prints, chicken, that's CNC'd I believe, it does not appear to be hand cut. Got a 20 line prints, flat mainspring housing, scale up to beaver tail. Uh, the fitment of the beaver tail, as you can see, pretty perfect, a little bit of overhang towards the bottom there but for a production pistol I'll take it safety's got a nice positive engagement not any slop really you have an extended uh, magazine release you can see how it stands proud of the, the grips there not a very large deal but One little extra. Of course, you got a flared magwell. Everybody wants to say that's like an extra feature. I haven't seen a production 1911 in my lifetime that does not have that, but maybe they're out there. I did a full detail strip on this when I got it out of the box. It is, you know, like a match grade adjustable trigger. It's got the leaves on the front so you can set your take up. I have very little take up in there. You can set your uh, backstop on the trigger as well. Uh, those are seven round magazines. Let's grab some ammo here. Uh, seem to be pretty nice quality mags. I have some Wilsons, but uh, But you can see they load relatively simply. They're not too uh, 
Too bad for factory mags. I'm sure they'll perform flawlessly, but I'll have the Wilsons in it while I carry it. Other than that, that's all I have for the RCS today. Um, be doing another video here shortly where I'm going to crown this barrel. It comes with an 11 degree target crown from the factory, which I'm sure is probably nicer than what my hand cut. 45 degree crown will be, but uh, the 45 degree crown just looks nice. There's arguments that it protects the rifling better and it keeps, you know, nicks from happening while you're carrying it. The rifling's fine protected as an 11 degree crown. People do a 45 degree crown because it looks cool. Plain and simple. That's why I'm doing it, because it looks cool. So that's what we're going to do. Outside of that, yeah, I forgot about our uh, external extractor, which I'm sure every other SIG 1911 video has covered, but I wasn't crazy about it. But it does have more functionality than an internal extractor, so I'll take it. We'll uh, come back here and shortly I'll do my crown video, and maybe someday this week I'll get to the range and some range footage of it. Till then, see you guys later.